Here's a few creative apps we can use on the iPad. How about Clips? It's free, and if you don't have it installed, you can go to self-service. It's a great easy way to make a fun presentation. Or how about Spark? There's page, video, and post. All of them are available in self-service or for free in the App Store. Remember, you don't want to use the big Continue with Google button. Instead, go to the bottom with Educational Account and click the little text link. From there, you need to enter your AIS Google account and then click Continue. Then you re-enter it with Google. This way you get all of your information that you already have saved on your account. Of course, Keynote is another great app which is free and available on self-service. If there's some apps that you don't have that you want to get that are on self-service, like Padlet, make sure you go to self-service and download them. If instead of using a school iPad, you're using your own home iPad, then you can use Apple's App Store to download the app. Ask your parents for help with that. Okay, what if you're using a computer? No problem. On the web, you can still use Adobe Spark. Just go to spark.adobe.com and click the sign-in button. Just like before, there's a few choices and you want to choose the one on the right that says log in with a school account. Once you've clicked that, again, you can click the continue with Google button. And from there, you can sign in with your AIS Google account. It works a little different on the web, so collage means the same thing as Spark Post, web page means the same thing as Spark Page, and slideshow means the same thing as Adobe Spark Video. So just like the app, you enter a title, you click next. Usually you want to start from scratch, and then you can record your voice. Make sure you let the web browser access your microphone. And when you're done with this, you'll probably need to either share the link on Seesaw or download the file and re-upload it on Seesaw. Talk to your teacher if you're not sure about that. Padlet's available on the web also. Just click log in. And from here, you can choose log in with Google and use your AIS account. If you're gonna create something on Padlet, you need to think about how the best way is to share it with your teacher. You might want to share the link or you might wanna save it as a image or PDF. With any app that you choose, there's gonna be more than one way to do things. If you're on a Mac, you can use Keynote too. Just get it from the App Store if you don't already have it. Type in Keynote and download it. It's free. If you don't have a Mac, of course you can use PowerPoint or even Google Slides. There are lots of choices. When you're done with something like Keynote, again, you need to think about how you're gonna share it. Keynote has lots of options for this. If you have animations or video, then you wanna export as a movie. Otherwise, you might export as a PDF or maybe an image. You could even use Keynote on the web if your parents have an Apple ID and they're willing to sign you in to iCloud.com. You probably have some other apps that you like and maybe your parents have a favorite app too. So choose what works best for you and have fun.